I'm very excited about Halloween. I like, I like the holidays in general, but, but for some reason, the pageantry, the costumes, everything, I just, I think Halloween probably my favorite of, of the different uh, holidays, and I get very excited on Halloween. Well, I don't know, it's not, I mean, it's not one of my favorites. Uh, I mean, aside from feeling bad about tricking Max, um, it, it's just not, I'm kind of more glad to see it pass, you know, than I. That is so odd to me. Well. It is so strange that you would say that you're such a fun-loving guy and you like a good time as much as the next person. What, what do you mean you don't like Halloween? Why would you not like Halloween? Well, it, it sort of, it has some personal connotations because of a, a bad experience. Wow, I mean, everyone seems very sympathetic. Yeah, that's, that awe usually means that. Yeah. Well, what, what happened? Well, Conan, it was 1983, and I was... Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. Oh, how cute! I'm gonna give you some candy, okay? Now, let me smell your feet. Let me smell them. Lady. Oh. Um. Oh. Uh, uh. Bye, boys. I love the feet. And then a couple years la later, we started dating. Oh, I don't want... <sighs> oh, God, I'm sorry. It's all right. I, it's a pretty rough story. I, I yeah. can see why you have mixed feelings. Well, well what, about, what about you, Max? I mean, do you like Halloween? Uh, me, Conan? Uh, actually, I love Halloween. I remember last year being a really good one. guys. Trick or treat. Trick or treat for UNICEF. Oh, well, I'll take this and I'll take this and your UNICEF box. How nice. Now run along. Come on, run along, run along. Well, I could see why you'd like Halloween. I, suppose. I thought he was such a cute little shepherd yeah. girl, too. Well, the point that I, the, the reason that I asked him is that most people do like Halloween, Andy. But most people so do. So you, you've never had a bad Halloween experience? Well, yeah, I, once I had a bad experience, I don't think people would be interested, though. <laughs> I just want that experience. What happened, I think they want to know. All right, well, there was one time when I was 10 years old I dressed up like my favorite president, Abraham Lincoln. Trick or treat! Trick or treat. What the hell are you wearing? I'm Abraham Lincoln. He was our 16th president. Don't you dare tell me who he was. You have no right to dress that way. But I just want to report for school on him. Silence! Your mumbles desecrate his memory. He was a great man. He emancipated our Afro-American brothers and sisters. He bound up the wounds and made our country whole again. But I thought... You thought, you thought, you didn't think. But he did. He envisioned a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. And what did he reap for those seeds that he sowed? On that fateful night of April 14th, 1865, he took a bullet to the brain. A bullet that entered right here and exited right here, making him the last noble victim of a war that nearly tore this country to ribbons. Who the hell are you? Get out! Get out! You know what? I suggest you read a poem by the Great Walt Whitman. Oh, Captain, my Captain, our fearful trip is done. The ship has weathered every rock. The prize we've sought is won. Gee. 